guys. What is going on, guys? Ordinary Dads, Aaron and Tim here today with a fun kind of news day. Yeah. So, um, so we, we finished filming for our, hopefully will be our third episode. Um, you're going to meet um, our kids. You're going to, you know... Just a little picture into our world, essentially. <laughs> See what it's all about. But we, we all know every, everyone has their own story with their own kids, and they, they all do yeah. things. So it'll be cool to see uh, how you guys react to uh, to meeting our kids. Exactly. And at the end of the day, we, we love our kids, and, and we're glad that, to be dads. That's but it. Um, today we have a special question, and honestly, it's a secret question, too, because I we don't do, even know what because, it is. So the reason why I kept it a secret is because I know that Tim is one of these people. Oh, no. So and it's nothing to be worried okay. about. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> But because um, I constantly, my wife is the same kind of person okay. as well. So one of, one of our big topics, I think, with everything that we do, honestly, is coffee. Like mm. that's like the mm. elixir of parenting in general, mm. correct? I mean, that's, yeah. there's not a yep. day that goes by that yeah, I that. don't have a cup. Maybe and so I'm, I, <laughs> so I'm curious, uh, which I am actually curious. So comment down below if you're not a coffee drinker, which is I don't know how you live, but if you're not a coffee drinker, what do you drink? Are you just water? Are you energy drink? Mm. You know, five hour energy, whatever. Um, tea, like uh, you know, whatever yeah. you do. But my question Your is, own kombucha, like you know, oh, I'm sure. oh, <laughs> we're getting we're the get possibilities are endless. Answers, I like yeah. it. But um, so my question for you guys is, when you get your coffee in the morning, say you make it at the house, mm -hmm. right? I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see where I'm going with this yet, mm -hmm. and you now have to drive in said car. Mm. Are you the type of person that has a travel mug or have you perfected the art of just an open mug oh, in your car? I love this question. <laughs> I love this question. I am all about the open mug in my car. Like, I, I don't know. It's like uh, I, I love my mugs that I have and I kind of keep them with me. And we have our driveway is pretty steep. So, like, that's the first test is, like, can the coffee survive <laughs> yep. going down and then, you know, heading out onto the road? And I, I love it. Honestly, I don't know. It's like old worldy. It's like, um, I don't know. It, but like, <laughs> but what so I want to know is it. like, and I love my wife to death, uh, full disclaimer on this, uh -huh. but like, I don't know how she doesn't spill it. Oh, like, I mean, like, I don't get how, yeah. like, like she sits there and she's like, it's an art. Yeah. Like she'll sit there and she'll say it's an art. Like, that's awesome. like Go if she, ha if nice she has an open mug mm -hmm. and I'm driving, mm -hmm. she's more likely to spill it than when she's driving. Exactly. And I, I don't get yeah. that because you think you could be more focused. No, no. You're like, I don't know. You're more <laughs> in control. It's like this symbiotic relationship where you're controlling the car and you're controlling your mug at the same time. And it's like... You you ride those waves. You ride that rhythm. Liquid inside. It's just a, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. know. I love it. But there know. there have been some horrible casualties too. Like um, <laughs> the little coin collector thing in the oh. middle. Sometimes that that gets really gross really quick. Ooh. Um, yeah, because you, know, you, you can't clean it up because you're probably already late for work or wherever you're. Or going, if so. or if it's or if it's like you're sitting there and and even <laughs> like I don't know like if you go and you get like. You have that in your car. You're kind of mm -hmm. out and about, and maybe you go through a drive-through. I think yeah. we've discussed that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah and then you that. go pick up a coffee or something else, and then you decide to put it like in your door. Oh yeah. You got to yeah. make sure that cup is there, empty, <laughs> like because. Key, so, like the pro tip of bringing your own mug with you is you got to make sure that you bring it inside when you're done. Because I'm at the point now where I go into my car and there's like three or four of them, and like there's no the, you Nicole, know, are you it, listening? I can't put it in the back. I can't put it in the front. So I put it on the ground. It's clinking around as I'm driving. Like it's just it's a hot mess. But man, it's I don't know. It's a lifestyle, and I, I live by my decision. Hey, you know what? And, I, and I'm glad I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you did because yes. that gave us our question of the day. It was today. great. So comment below. Hello, what about you guys? Do you bring your own mug with you? Are you weirdos like myself and Nicole, or do you prefer a travel? Kind I prefer. Of mug I, I prefer. I don't. I don't like the food? insulated because I find like if it's insulated, mm. it's going to be like too hot. Like if you want to enjoy your coffee. Oh yeah. So I don't like the yeah. insulated. You know, just the yep. one that's like yep. the, the hard plastic top, and yep. you can drink it. I mean, it's still hot, but you yeah. can drink it kind of quicker. You know. Yep. But, yep. So. Definitely. So yeah, comment down below, guys. Um, we got, hope you guys have more than ordinary day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.